Hello and welcome to The Softer Side. I'm your storytelling life coach, Shelley Carney. Today's topic is the comparison trap. Thank you for watching The Softer Side Storytelling Therapy and Life Coaching. Please leave a comment and let me know your biggest challenge when it comes to stress relief and what topics you would like to see in the future. Subscribe and click on the bell to be front row center for new videos. Join us in the friendly, supportive live chat room for our live coaching videos and share the Softer Side channel with your friends and family members who need to reduce the stress and anxiety in their lives. So why should we stop comparing ourselves to others? Theodore Roosevelt said, comparison is the thief of joy. And that's so true. When we compare ourselves to other people, we take away our own joy. And studies show that time on social media sites increases depression and envy and decreases well-being. So we need to be careful about what we're looking at, what we're spending our time on, and how we feel about it. Let's talk some more about the comparison trap. Money and material things provide temporary boosts of pleasure. Their inevitable inability to provide lasting sustenance is usually more disappointing than anything else. In other words, when all we think we want is money or objects, a new car or that new dress or a pair of shoes, something that we think we want and then we get it, it doesn't, that boost of pleasure or that hit of dopamine doesn't last very long. It isn't long before we're lusting after something else, wanting more money or more things to get another dopamine hit. It's always disappointing. So what we need to do instead is be grateful for the good in your life and resist any lies that shout, it's not enough. Use comparison as motivation to improve what actually matters. Learn the skills that led to success for others. If I look at somebody who is three to five years into their business and they're way ahead of me, I didn't see all the work that they put in to get to where they are. So it wouldn't be right for me to be envious of where they are. What I should do instead is learn what it took to get there and do those things myself. Who inspires you to live better in the way that matters most? Spend your precious time and thoughts on this instead and become a better person. And that way you can even make your little corner of the world a better place. Byron Katie said, the mind's job is to prove that what it thinks is true. And it does that by judging and comparing this to that. What good is a this to the mind if it can't prove it with a that? Without proof, how can a this or a that exist? In other words, we want to compare um, this apple to that apple, right? The Golden Delicious, is it better than the Granny Smith? Um, we want to compare things. Is my car better or worse than my neighbor's car? We want to know that so we can kind of place things in our mind, um, what value things might have to us. That gives us that proof that it exists. We're all teachers by the way we live. A blind drunk can teach more about why not to drink than an abstinent man in all his piety. No one has more or less goodness. No one who ever lived is a better or worse human being than you. The I Ching says, the path that one person follows is not the correct path for any other person. Each of us must walk his own path to enlightenment. That is the way. We are all unique individuals and we cannot compare our journey to somebody else's because we have not lived the same life. We do not have the same resources, the same support system. Everything is different and individual. And that's a really beautiful thing. Be content with what you have. Rejoice in the way things are. When you realize there is nothing lacking, the whole world belongs to you. 
Isn't that wonderful? Comparison with myself brings improvement. Comparison with others brings discontent. It's always good to compare ourselves to where we were and see how far we've come. I'm much happier, more self-aware, and more fulfilled now than I was five years ago. I'm not going to compare myself to somebody who's on a completely different journey because that would just make me feel discontented about my own life and my own resources. The reason we struggle with insecurity is because we compare our behind the scenes with everyone else's highlight reel. This happens a lot on social media, especially Instagram or Facebook where we're scrolling through and we might see somebody's vacation photos or pictures with their kids and, and we might be a little envious of what they've got going on because it's been years since I had a vacation like that or my children um, don't come to see me anymore and they're all grown up, I don't have little ones or whatever it might be. Maybe they're going to fancy restaurants or something else, but that's their highlight reel. They're only showing you the really good stuff, whereas we live every day with our behind the scenes, so we know what's going on in our lives, and we imagine that they don't have all those problems. But guess what? Everybody does. Let's do the story of the stonecutter and the angel. Once upon a time, there was a young stonecutter who looked with envy upon the rich merchant who employed him. One day he was muttering to himself about what it would be like to have such freedom and power, when to his amazement an angel appeared and spoke the words, You are what you have said. In an instant, the stonecutter had become the merchant. He was very happy with his lot until he saw the king of the land ride by with his entourage. Now that's the way to live, he thought. Almost before he had asked, the angel had granted his wish and the merchant had become the king. All was well until one beautiful summer's day when the king began sweating in his heavy royal garb. What freedom and power the sun has, he thought. It can float through the sky and call forth water from a king. That is what I would truly like to be. As the thought appeared in his mind, the angel appeared to grant it. Now the king had become the sun, and he reveled in his freedom and power as he floated high above the earth. But after a time, a cloud appeared and blocked the land from his view. When he watched the lightning burst forth from the cloud and heard the roar of the thunder, he knew that he was witnessing true freedom and power. Before he even realized what was happening, the angel had transformed him into a cloud. What fun it was to pour rain forth upon the land. Wherever the cloud went, forests were washed away and puddles became oceans in his wake. But no matter how hard he tried, there was one huge mountain made of stone that stood immovable and unaffected by his reign. Surely that is the ultimate power, he thought. To stand tall in the face of any circumstance, that is true freedom and power. In an instant, the angel had made it so and the man could feel the incredible power of being an immovable object in the midst of any storm. Yet even as he was delighting in his immense strength and resilience, he could see a small man chipping away at his base with a pick and a chisel and a hammer. That man is even more powerful than I, he thought. See how he is able to take stone away from me with just a few blows of his mighty tools. That is the kind of freedom and power I have always longed for. The angel appeared and once again spoke the words, you are what you have said. And with those words, the older but wiser stonecutter continued on his journey. So, what did we learn from the story today? Be grateful for what you already have. 
focus on your strengths and be totally aware of what they are. Be true to yourself and live in alignment with your values. So what do you think? What do you believe is the differences between you and other people? And what do you feel about that? What actions do you take when you feel this way? What I think about when I can compare myself to other people, at least this is how I used to think. There are only so many resources in the world. There's only so much money. There's only so much love. There's only so much food. There's only so much. And if they get some, then I won't get any. So I was envious when they had things that I wanted because I didn't think that I could have them myself. But then I learned the resources are unlimited. There's more money, more food, more love, more everything in the world now than ever before. Our resources are unlimited. So when we get ours, they can still get theirs. In other words, you see somebody rich and famous and you don't have to feel envious of them because they have a lot of money or a fancy car or something that you want because you have the ability to go get those things for yourself as well. So we don't have to feel envious. We don't have to compare ourselves to other people. What we want to do is say, here's what I want. Here's what I'm going to do to go get it and then make that happen. We want to manage our thoughts and produce the kind of feelings that we want and the actions that take us to where we want to go. There is a free booklet available with this story time, storytelling therapy, and you can find that on eSofterSide.com. This uh, booklet is just the slides that you've seen today in a booklet form that you can download and look at or share with somebody. And all you have to do is look into the description box below this video and you can find that link, eSofterSide.com, and you can get your own little booklet about this story to help you remember it. Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you again on the next Storytelling Therapy. I want to share with you an amazing free mini course I've developed for my subscribers to reduce stress and achieve inner peace. This mini course provides tips, exercises, and guided meditations to further enhance relaxation and bring calm to a frazzled life. Simply visit eSofterSide.com to get your free mini course. And while you're there, you can also schedule a free coaching call with me to address your personal needs when it comes to releasing pain and achieving happiness. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Peace be with you. Namaste.